Lumbar support, it's always a big deal. In an earlier video, I discussed how to make a lumbar support out of a stadium seat. And Jerry Tan said, wait a minute, you could do that out of a, a pool noodle. Well, let me show you what I came up with. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I love the stadium seat idea, but if a pool noodle would do it for a buck instead of seven bucks, well then that's something I just had to look at. As you can see, I've had a lot of trial and error as I messed around with various designs. The first thing I learned is that get a nice sharp fillet knife and that's the best thing going to cut pool noodles. Once you understand that, then you can do the sculpture required to get this to fit right. So let's go look at the seat and let me explain what I mean. So this is a Jackson kayak seat. They're all going to have a dip down here and then they're going to push up and then back as you push on this to pedal. And so the first challenge was when you just put a piece of pool noodle there, you got this big gap. And that gap is going to be a gap in lumbar support. So the first thing I had to do was figure out what the angle was on my particular seat to get a piece of pool noodle to fit there exactly. Then I squared off another piece, put that on top, and then I needed a skinnier piece uh, up here to be at the top level because my back is going to push up. Now it can si stick out because you've got the hole here that's going to provide the compression to make this fit right. So that's the construction. Now I just got to put it together so it'll stay in one piece. So I find that if I put the pool noodle up against something that's straight, it's a lot easier to get a nice clean cut. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I've got it gently up there. And then do a nice cut, and that ends up being pretty level. So I've got the basic frame assembled here, but there's still one more thing I need to do. If you notice here on the stadium seat version, it builds out thick from the bottom to skinny at the top as this sits on the seat like this. And playing around with sitting on my seat, uh, what I think I need to do is put one more layer of something right here that will stick out, I don't know, maybe like a, a half an inch or so to fill in that gap where my back is going to curve as it comes into the seat. So that's the next step to do on this. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and cut it right down the middle. Then this piece can go on right here. I'm not going to glue that side on, but I'll use that to get the angles. And do the last cut right here. Okay. So now it's going to fit on there like that. I just got to go test it against my backside to see if I like the way the fit is. Well, I just tested it out, and that's going to work. Now it's a matter of just assembling it. Now, what Jerry did is he just used duct tape, but I think uh, I want to do something else. I may do duct tape as well, but I think since I've got flat surfaces here, I'm going to go ahead and use the Loctite 303 uh, adhesive and use that to put these guys together. That way I hopefully have one piece that won't wiggle loose. So I'll use masking tape to hold these pieces together until the glue sets up. I'm going to have to do this in a couple steps because it's going to take a few hours for this to set up. Well, it's all done, all glued together. And I decided to go ahead and put the Gorilla Tape on there. It couldn't hurt. And uh, most important, be sure you put the strap around and back so that way you can connect it to your seat. 
And I just use one of these big snap links right here to connect the two because that'll be easy to pop on and off. Well, I know there's at least one more way to do this that I'm thinking about, but I won't have the material until it's summer and it's that material is back in season. I think I've given everybody plenty of options on how to protect their back with homemade number support, and I certainly appreciate the suggestion to give a pool noodle a try. If you've got some more options, hey, throw them in the comments, and I'll, I'll try them out. Thanks.